Hey everyone. So I'm going to start off by recording late at night when I'm tired, which basically means that anything that happens after what I record right now will be a different day. But that's okay because it's the weekend. I wanted to talk about the armor macro that I have because apparently someone decided that being called Geiters or however you say it was too complicated for leg pieces, so now they're just called leg armors. And that basically means that the macros got broken and I had to go and redo them. The first time I popped this, I got confused because it only swapped half the armor and I was like, what? And then I pushed the other macro and things just got messy and I thought that the NCSoft had broken macros, but it just turns out they instead broke the names of items for no reason. They also broke the translation for this teleport device, but they patched that yesterday or today, one of those days, because it was pretty obvious. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is this item I bought for Conqueror Marks. If you don't know what those are, they look like this, they're brown. And you get them from doing instances that nobody really does. Well, I think you might get one from an instance like Danimar Sanctuary or Elfinder Bridge, maybe? Maybe not. But I bought one of the bundles that you can buy at uh, this base down here, Celius Pass Watch Post, from... Oh, you can even see the NPC. Well, the Asmone's called Isabel, and it costs, I think, around 70. It's basically going to give me a random piece of armor or an accessory hey, that's apparently eternal, but knowing my luck, well, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> there's a good chance I could get something really bad. And I, of course, I'm going to grace everyone with the potentially bad RNG that's about to happen here. Okay, I'm just trying to progressively move in this direction because... Perfect, we own this base, I think. I can't tell, there's so much stuff in the way. Yeah, we own it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna open this now. And the item is... Yeah, it's really poopy, but it's to be expected. <laughs> and I don't really know what the use for Conqueror's Marks are. It's, that's the only thing I can think of, and it's not very good, so... I don't know. But I'm actually going to make my way over to the Sorrow base, because there's something else to talk about. And I think I have to run there because they broke the wind streams, and I'm not sure if they fixed them. You know what? We'll test. We'll just run over there. <laughs> and if you're wondering what these items are, you get them from doing the uh, Engulfed of Fidden Bridge, which is the new 6v6 PvP instance. And they're used to make cannonballs for sieges of some kind. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure they broke the wind stream, so let's find out. A fast and furious way. Actually, if they broke it, I should just use the train. Whatever, this is the more scenic route. Yeah, so you see they broke that. I would have made that 100%, even though it didn't look like it. I'm telling the truth, believe me. So I'm just going to hover my way over to this base, because they introduced a new item that you can buy with blood marks. I believe it costs 50, and you have a chance to get neat items. Or non-neat items, but that's pretty much this game in a nutshell, right? What time is it anyway? Yeah, 12.24. I'm kind of tired, but i got to do this because that way I, tomorrow I can go ahead and record whatever and it'll be nice. So I'm going to turn this quest in, and then I'm going to talk to... Is it you? No, it's not you, but I talked to her anyway. Oh, yeah, sure. Give me some sorrow items. <laughs> I don't even remember this quest. I haven't... <laughs> I haven't been to Star in a while, but here, I think this is the guy we talked to. So we can buy Bloodmark enchantment chests. And it says that you have a chance to get composite mana stones or supplements. And obviously, we all know which one's more valuable, right? <laughs> so I'm going to buy... How much should I buy for everyone here? Five? Five. That will be a five. Okay, I'm just going to open them. You'll notice in this patch there's a lot of opening and purchasing of things and <laughs> not so much action. But that's to be expected. God, these are so useless. I don't know why I bought these. I'm hoping to get a bundle, but, I mean, at least you can vendor these. Oh, there's one. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have a use for mythic socketing, because, um... Well, I guess I could use it on this weapon, but, God, that's... <laughs> that's a painful thought. I can't even imagine how many stone or, uh, supplements you'd need for that. I bet it's a lot. Here's just some random stone... Uh, yeah, that only lasts for one weapon. Anyway, 
enough of this <laughs> random stuff. I'm going to open the bundle. Let's see how well the reward is. We're good. Okay, well, <laughs> I got a level 60 magic boost, magic accuracy stone, so I'm going to say that was pretty good. You can teleport to the main base for me, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Last thing, I promise. And then I will sign off and hopefully PvP tomorrow. Eh, it's okay. Alright, so I'll be back soon. Well, for you guys it'll be in a second, but for me, a little while. Aha, here we go. So welcome back, it's a new day. It's the weekend, like I said previously, but today's Saturday and the new instance is open, the 24v24, so guess what I'm doing? That's right. <laughs> I could have joined Vent, too, to talk to 23 other people, but, you know, there's something not that appealing about that. And plus, I want to record, or try to. So instead, I'll just do this. It's probably going to be laggy, too, I load all these people up. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of loading to do. So, I don't know anything about this instance, other than that it's 24 people, we 24 people. Oh, it's like Eternal Bastion, oh, okay. So it's kind of like the new Ophidan Bridge that came out afterwards, that's weird. Nice to, nice to see you, I'm listening. Oh, cutscene, got a minute, so we can probably do this. Oh my god, the load, here we go. If this war is ever to be turned in our favor, we must recapture the base from the Baritra army. Stand vigilant. The Elios are still a threat, even if you're successful. Protect the base, and I'll send over some useful supplies. Our target destination is Pasheed. Use siege weapons to destroy the walls of the castle to get there. Once Pashid falls, we will march on to an easy victory. However, the Ilios wish to succeed as much as we do. We must finish the fight before they do. This is not the end. Okay then. Yeah, oops, hello. Nice to see you again. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I have to buff the team. Here, let's do that now. I'm gonna put on PvE gear too because it seems unnecessary to PvP right away since we're gonna be clearing rooms. Um, I don't really know anything like I said, but we're just gonna go with the flow here, but that tends to work out okay. I love the description of that macro. Will it work? Question mark is very important. I'm gonna pop 30 minute scrolls because I don't think it's necessary to buff them every 5 minutes in an instance like this. Good old Space Fist, all capital letters, talking about the new Aether Tech class. It's a good guy, Space Fist. Formerly known as Asho. <laughs> one of my favorite ex Elias, so maybe he still is kind of one. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> um, yeah, you don't get to see the other team. Obviously, there's too many people. You know what? I'm gonna hide everything here. Like, it's so unnecessary. Okay. Just follow the lead of the Zerg. So I think the idea is basically we just kill the captains in the uh, bases and take them, and then we fight for points, fight the alias. It seems very messy. Should be fun. 40 minutes of this. <laughs> oh boy. Since I figured it'd be good to at least show the new stuff. Oh man. Can't wait till it start PvPing. How am I going to work with uh, this many people? Actually, does it? I think the team split up. Nope. Is that really 24 people? I think I'm... I think there's somewhere else, I don't know. Whatever, I'm just following my team. Actually, I should probably pull up the one team that is with us. What is the name of someone here? Ice Cold, or Ice Cold. Oh, I get it. Wow. <laughs> That's clever. Oh look, things you can die to. Environment. <laughs> That's NC soft trolling at its finest. But 
but yeah, this, like I said, basically just the same layout as Eternal Bastion. Oh, we're not killing the last boss one. How come the camp didn't flip yet? Oh, it did flip, I see. I'll assume there's some special order to doing this. No, I can toss a heal to some guy. There you go. Alright. Oh, one sec, I'm just checking something. Okay, good. We're in fact recording. <laughs> That's always a good to do. Oh, I don't have a run. No, I do have a run mantra. It's just not loading up. That bug's annoying. I think it just doesn't refresh in myself for some reason for more than two durations of the cycle. Okay. The Asmodian Command Center is under attack. Is that our base? <laughs> Asmodian Headquarters Alpha 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 Alpha. That's a lot of alphas. It seems a little redundant, but I guess it distinguishes that base from the rest. <laughs> alpha Alpha Alpha. Oh my god. It's nice though, there are a lot of non-elite mobs here. Normal junk to just go through. Oh, I felt Elios. I think that's their entire alliance. No, it's... Oh, it does look like it. Oh man, the lag. It's pretty bad. I'm running away. <laughs> we need to regroup with the other half of ours if we're going to take that on. I think. Hey look, the other half of the alliance loaded up on the map. Well, isn't that nice? Can train them to this. We have a... Can I buff this? Pretty sure I can. Of course I can. Supplies have arrived. Who wants to use those with the Elias are all here? Oh my. Okay, prepare for the lag fest that is recording with this many people. Yeah, I'm gonna turn F12 on. <laughs> so there's some sanity when I'm recording. This is a good target, if I ever get out of fear. No, you don't die. Actually, a couple of things that need to happen. Oh, I'm not my PvP gear. Durr. Yeah, I'm totally cheerleading this fight. Oh, nope. Because they have way too many people. Because <laughs> we're not all together. Which is why we shouldn't be fighting in the first place. Oh, our other lines came from the backside too. That was totally planned, don't worry. Us half dying was okay in the long run. Although I spent the entirety of that lagging and then <laughs> turning off uh, or switching my gear. It's all good. They're just gonna auto approach with this. Can we res people here? I think so, but I'm not gonna try it. Well, that's nice. So we sandwiched them. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep F12 on. It's fine. You don't really need to see that many people. You can just see the names. No. I'll turn it back off when uh, we actually fight them, I guess. Oh, it's still pretty bad. Oh, they're all still here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe sometime I'll up and create and get a better computer. But for now, I'll deal with this. Although mine's not too bad. So, yeah, we pretty much beat them, I think. Looks like we did. I'll assume you start at the spawn, like where you entered when you die. It seems like it. But being able to res people is really nice and convenient. Oh, there's progress. Another fight of Zerging. Yes! Oh, quick. Can we just tab attack whatever comes close? <laughs> like this gladiator, for instance. Oh, for extending by just a little bit. Who wants to stand in front, though? Nobody that isn't a plate. <laughs> ah, screwed. I can take a little bit of damage. That's what I'm here for, right? That's all I use. It's like I pop a board of quickness, etheric field, and I've done my job. The rest is just taking damage for other people. <laughs> Yes, yes, attack, attack. That person just fell off the edge, number four. Kinda sucks. 
Oh look, they're all just jumping. So but they're making it. The wrist star. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Oh hello. So then we're gonna start fighting over this space, I guess. Oh, here comes half of their lines. They're not awful here because some of them just died running here. Look at that fishing behind the cover. <laughs> This seems a little messy actually, because uh, we have mobs. Oh, this guy's in a cannon, interesting. <laughs> nice cannon, it'd be a shame if something were to happen to the person in the cannon. Like that. Can I even heal anyone? Yeah, I can. There's nothing good to attack here. Let's go over here. person blinked into the group of people. That was funny. Oh, oh I was close, but not close enough. Oh man, these uh, walls and like supplies are just messing with the camera so bad. Like they're making me zoom in and out. I apologize for that, but I can't really control it unless I try to stay up like this angle. Even then, it's still a little annoying. Just on approaching because I don't feel like. When is this Zergi like just on approach feel? They're just running all over the place anyway. Because I know, I know, it's a not the best thing to do, but the Zerg fights, it doesn't really matter that much. Penguin! Cool. It's almost done. And I don't know if we're going to kill Pasheed, it seems like not because he seems to be a real pain. <laughs> and if there are people attacking you then it's like, you might just wipe. So I think we're content farming 100k score. Seems okay. That was interesting. Not really sure I'm a fan, but it depends I guess on what you get when you win. Because that's 40 minutes of... <laughs> 40 minutes of glorified sieging is basically what it is. <laughs> Not as Zergi, not as I, but still the same idea. Although base capture is nice. Oh, here's a wall we can attack. I wonder how long this will take. It says loose wall. Yeah, very loose. Where are siege cans now? I wonder how many times you can do this instance, though. That is a question. <laughs> Four out of three, what the hell? <laughs> um, Alright, we're gonna go alphabetical. What is this place called? Iron. Iron wall. You can do it twice. But I think it's only open for the weekend. I'm not too sure. They don't tell you exactly the day things are open. This is a quest, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. And now we have a minute and a half to stand here and look pretty. Oh, this poor guy. Number two. Race to see who can catch number two first. The hunt is on. Release the bugles and sound the horns. Oh, we got rid Ah, I win the prize. <laughs> I mean, if it's only twice a week, it's not too bad because this is the kind of thing you can bring your friends and your friends of friends and their friends and then go along and just, you know, have a mess on vent. Frankwood hits ceramium. 20k AP. 20, uh, let's see, 100 glare points. That's pretty good. It's not bad for 40 minutes. Like, if you're interested in farming AP and such, and that's actually alright. But the important thing is to note what I get from the box. So I shall do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's open this. Oh. That's nice. Well, I got 15 anti-shock scrolls. Um, I guess that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm never going to craft these things, probably. But Okay, so that video was, uh, again, not exactly me being solo, but I need to explore this stuff because it's new things that are interesting, and that's important. So take care, everybody, and go enjoy 4.5, really. That should be the main thing you do if you can play it right now. Maybe it's not out in Europe yet, but soon. TM.